Hey, what up, everybody? Um, two videos for you. This is the first one. It's just about finding images online and saving them. Um, okay, so you'll see here on your steps at slide two, uh, step three is collect images online and save to drive. Um, not that difficult, but worth talking about. So I'm in Google. I'm going to search for something that I'm looking for. I'll go to images. Okay, now at this point, if I click on this one for example, I could right click, um, I could copy, I could control C, I could go back over here, I could control V or right click and paste it in there. Okay, totally could. It's pretty quick. Um, I wouldn't do it. I think that you would do better, and it doesn't take that much more time to just, I right click there, that was again two fingers on a Chromebook, um, save image as, at this point, if you're on a Chromebook it's going to take you straight to drive, I would click new folder, okay, new folder, um, we're going to call it, um, Periodic table, I guess. Then I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to save it. Okay, I'm going to collect them that way. Also, you know, if you get a bunch, uh, chances are you can pick which ones are the best ones later. Okay, doesn't take that much time to grab a handful of them. Okay, now let me show you something. This one, for example. Save image as. Okay, so you see it pops up here and it asks me like where I want to save it. If you don't see that on your Chromebook, you need to go change a setting. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. So by default, Chromebook will have you um, automatically save somewhere usually to the hard drive which is not a helpful idea because our jcps chromebooks the hard drives in the chromebooks they blank out like every 24 hours um, so if you're saving stuff to it you're you're losing stuff anyway if you go to settings okay okay right here Settings, downloads. You can see I have a button here that says ask where to save each file before downloading. If I turn that off and then I go to save this, hmm, well, it's still doing it, which is nice. Um, but it wouldn't, it would just automatically save it and give me a little pop up that says it did. You need to click that on, okay? And that will make it so that you can choose where it goes on Drive every time. Okay. As far as um, getting pictures, that's it. I'm just suggesting that you save them all to a folder on Drive. Okay, we don't need two videos. We'll just keep going. All right, the next part of this that we really need to work on is um, actually how do we navigate and create this thing. So. Here's your, your sort of your grid that's laid out here. Um, here is what we're going to do. I'm going to insert image, upload from computer. One more time. Insert image, upload from computer. Um, if you're on a Chromebook, pressing drive or computer is going to be the same thing. Okay, I'm going to go find that. Maybe I'm not. Okay, I'm just going to grab something. It doesn't matter. Sure. Okay, got this dude. So at this point, I have to get this guy to go, to go into one of these boxes, one of these cells. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that corner. Okay, I'm going to undo real quick. What I'm not going to ever do is this. 
a net Y because look at it's distorted. You're changing the aspect ratio and you're making it look crappy when it doesn't look crappy. Even if it looked crappy, you'd be making it look crappier by ever dragging a side. Just don't do it. So what you do instead, you can go up and line, I go ahead and line one of these corners up. Okay, now at this point, I need to crop it. Okay, the crop, if I just double click on it, see these black lines that come around, that means you're cropping. Um, if you have it selected, there's also a crop button right here, but double clicking will do it. Now at this point, I'm grabbing those black squares and I am just dragging up to where I want them to go. Now, what's kind of cool is that when you're cropping, you just have to get the shape right, and then you can drag the picture from the inside where you want it. All right. All right. Suggestion. See this border weight? Go turn that on two or three. Um, I don't know if you're color coding things. If you are, you can go ahead and use the border um, to help you do that. Now check this out. If you want to zoom in on a slide, and you're undoubtedly going to want to do that with this, it's going to be pretty, pretty frustrating if you try to never zoom in. Control-Alt-Plus will zoom you in. Control-Alt-Plus will zoom you in more. And you can see here now that I'm zoomed in that I really didn't my crop was not great, but it is now. Okay, I've done it. All right, um, you have to put a number in. So this one's pretty easy. Here's a shape button here, or you can do insert shape, shapes. You just need a rectangle shape. Okay, I'm going to drop it in the corner here. I'm going to throw the same border. And the same weight on it. Okay, just drop it in the corner. And then here, you know, choose your font or whatever, but um, and you could just drop your number in. Okay. All right, now I'm not going to keep doing that insert shape. Like that would be crazy. Instead, I'm just gonna click this one. I'm gonna do control C. That means hold control while click and then click C and then I'm gonna hold control and click V to just copy it. Then I'm gonna come down here and drop it in the bottom right hand corner. And then I can put my um, symbols in uh, JG for Junior Gork. Okay, now if I scroll out, there's my little dude. Okay, do another one. Insert. In oh, check this out. You can also do image right here. I like out of habit go to the insert all, all the time, but you really don't need to. Insert image. I pulled from computer. Let's see what we get this time. Sure. Okay. Now again, I can go and go ahead and line up the corners basically. Put them in a corner before I again drag in corners, not ever sides, because I don't want to distort the image. I just want to resize it. Okay, now we know we have to crop. So I'm willing to double click and get my basic shape. It's not a horrible idea to go ahead and control alt plus and zoom in a couple times. That way I know that I'm doing a good job. I'm grabbing the black bars on the sides and I am cropping this photo. Okay, now that it's cropped, I want I can just drag the picture around until I get it where I want it. That looks pretty solid. Um, again, same deal as the last one. I'm going to go border weight to 
three. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to click that little box. I'm going to hold control. I'm going to click the little box below it. Control C, Control V. And now I can just pull those down here. Well, I'm in perfect world, I can pull those down here. Okay. All right. When you're done. Here, um, Control Alt Minus will pull you back out. Okay. When you're done, these are cells in a table. Um, like I click the first one and I hold Shift to click the bottom one and it selects that whole column. I can go and then fill it in black. Okay. So you're just going to get rid of all the cells that you don't use in your table. It's just going to make it look nice. And you can see an example of that on the table up here. Um, also, you're going to change the title. The periodic table of mine would be of Fraggle Rock, but it's too long, so I'm just going to leave this one. I have to change it. But the periodic table of Fraggles, um, so that's apparently what I'm working on here. And just because I have you, I'm going to do one more. Okay. Um, of course, I would have needed to have changed, you know, this to whatever it was supposed to be. Sprocket, so we'll just go with a S, some SP action. Okay, insert image, upload from computer, or insert image, upload from computer. Um, yep, we are fraggle rocking it up, y'all. All right. So I'm going to do that up here. I'm going to make it big. OK. Control Alt Plus zooms me in. I'm going to get them right around where I want them. OK. Double click. That's going to allow me to crop. I could have also right clicked and chose crop, or I could have went up here and clicked this icon for crop image. But again, just double clicking on the picture will get you what you need. Okay, move them around a little bit. And I can decide here, check it out, if I want it to be smaller again. I can resize it when it's in crop. It will do the thing. Pretty rad. Okay. That same deal. Border weight. Just going to keep it consistent. If I had some sort of system here where I was categorizing things with color, I'd be choosing the appropriate color. Um, some of you may have thought that if I'm putting them over here, I probably won't be. He probably will be number one, which means Junior Gorg over there will not be number one. So we'll change him to number one. He's a doozer. So here's the doozer. And then just for the sake of everything, we'll Change him to FT. Okay. All right, I really will shut up now. Um, again, when you're done, go fill in the cells you didn't use with black. Change your title. And that'll be it. That should be it. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Later.